First, we're going to start with the programmable logic control that we have built into this touch screen. The basic controls are displayed on this screen, and you can control the entire system from this touch screen. You can set the system up, fire up the pump, and let it run, and it will run itself based on all your previous settings. So when you first turn the system on, you can see it starts to play our origin oil videos. To start the system, simply press the main menu switch. It'll bring you to your main menu screen. The system start button will engage all of the previous settings that were set prior to this startup. So if we system start, it will simply turn on everything as it was system stop, likewise turn everything off. To change any settings, you'll have to log in. There's a few login options. You have supervisor, user, engineer, and we're going to log in today as a user. You switch to user, and then you put in the code, and then a manual mode button is going to pop up. This manual mode button will allow you to change all of the different parameters, all of the different settings in the system. You can go to flotation, SSC1, SSC2, which are all of your electrical controls. Your pump, which will allow you to control your flow rate, etc. Your rake, which will allow you to control the rake speed. You can either dial in a percentage by typing in the percentage and pressing enter or by manually moving up and down. So here we have the conveyor controls. Likewise, you can move up and down manually, or you just press on the percentage, and you can put in the percentage that you want it to be at and press Enter. We go back to the main screen. In our flotation and SSE control system, here on this screen, we have an option to control the current being delivered to the flotation chamber in which case we would type in the percentage that we want, press enter, and then your flotation start would engage the power supply. So there, we have it on now. We're gonna turn it off by pressing stop, and likewise, it'll go offline. SSC1, same controls. You can type in the percentage that you want. You can turn the SSC on. Okay, now the reason it went to this window is because the pump is not on. The pump has to be on in order for the SSCs to turn on. Now I can turn on the system to a percentage and then the SSC will engage. Now we're gonna to go to SSC2. Same thing, we can type in the percentage that we want, and enter, and start it up. Because the pump is running, we're now allowed to engage the SSCs. The bottom line there is that when you have flow, you can have current into the SSCs. If you don't have flow, you don't want current in the SSCs. If you go to the status button on the main screen, this is the screen that you want to go to, go to once you have all your settings uh, pre-programmed through your manual start. This will display all of your current, your volts and amps, that are being uh, powered to the different parts of the system, whether it's flotation, SSC 1, 2, or your flow rate on your pump. This screen, when you're running, when you're harvesting algae, is gonna allow you to monitor every part of the system. Once you have all the settings set in manual systems, it's just one push button start, starts the entire system up, likewise, stop system, stops the whole. And you'll see all of these numbers will correlate and change uh, according to what you've set beforehand. Now we go back to the main screen. Uh, two more functions that you're going to have on the main screen is your video. You're going to be able to play our um, EWS algae, how it works. This will give you a basic one, two, three on how the system works, where the water flows, what the SSE tubes do, and, and what the flotation does. We'll go back. Video number two is going to be our video of the scale up model where we brought. Uh, an algae harvester which did uh, about 120 liters per minute in Thermal California and you can watch that video if you want to there. When the system starts up, 
It's uh, built into the logic controls that it will automatically just cycle through those videos. So if you want to start up the system or check your power, you can do that and this screen will continue to just play videos. If we want to log in as say an engineer or a supervisor, you would have the ability to control other parts of the system, the time delays between when certain systems start up and certain systems shut down. But for the most part, you'll be logging on as a user, you'll be given a code and you'll be able to log in to uh, the unit. When you're logged in, your manual button will pop up and you'll be fully operational. This is our main disconnect plug. This plug is unique in that in the event that you could not turn off power, this plug could actually act as its own contactor switch. The way to disconnect it is you press this side button right here, you simply twist the plug and it will pop off. When the plug goes on, you simply turn the plug until it goes into place and then push it in. You want to make sure that this hook right here lands on that perch. This switch will turn the touch screen on and off. Your emergency stop button, one of the things that we programmed in is that when you hit the e-stop button, you're going to know it because it displays on the screen. It's very dramatic. The e-stop will shut off everything in this box, which is essentially a touch screen. And this main disconnect will kill all power to the unit. From this touch screen, we automate the whole device in making this harvesting as easy as possible and as operator friendly as possible.